welcome to my channel. Today I am doing, sorry about my cat, I'm doing a little process video of a scrapbook layout and this is using um, the Crate Paper All Heart Collection uh, for my travel album uh, and some other products for my stash. If you saw the um, video that I posted a while ago about the products I'm using for my travel album, then you would have seen what I am using in this little kit. So to start off, I'm just going to do some layers around this photo and I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I don't even have a background picked out, which is kind of weird for me because um, I always start with the background, even if it's just a white background, then at least I know. But for this, I wasn't sure if I, <laughs> sorry, my cat is being really distracting right now um, as I'm doing this voiceover. She's trying to get on the keyboard. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to do a white background or if I wanted to do a pattern paper background because I kind of wanted to challenge myself to use a pattern paper background. So that's why I'm just starting with the layers here. So I kind of, oops, sorry, you didn't notice anything, but I dropped my phone. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to start with the layers, which is exactly what I'm doing here. And of course, um, just using up different scraps and such. And yeah, and I'm going to use a doily and just having fun with layers. I feel like that's kind of going back to my roots, just having fun with layers. So that's what I'm doing here. And I am looking through the um, different pieces of ephemera to see what might work as well. And I'm um, getting different tags and um, yeah, just different pieces to layer. Sorry, I took my keyboard away. Now my cat's mad at me. She wanted to sit on the keyboard, but that will mess up this voiceover. <laughs> so that is not happening. Um, so what I should have done before I glued down all these layers is I should have um, distressed them, which I forgot to do, but that's okay. I kind of just used my scissors to make it work and I think it works out fine. I think that distressing the edges kind of helps the different layers stand out and... Um, to see the different layers and patterns um, rather than it kind of all being flat and mixed together. So yeah, now the ones that I'm putting, I'm putting on now, I'm going to make sure I distress them before I put them on. So what else? What next? Oh, giving my cat a kiss. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go over to my big pattern papers and trying to choose out a background and narrowed it down to a couple. And then I'm going to take the photo and the layers and kind of put them on different papers to see what might work best. And um, all the choices, well, most of the choices I thought were pretty good, but I ended up going with the grid paper background. Um, it was a tough decision though. A lot of them, I, like I said, I thought were pretty nice, but I do end up going with this one, which is one of my favorite papers from the kit. So I'm going to cut it down to size, which is eight and a half by 11 and um, put it to the side there. And this is a picture of us in Berlin and ow, my cat just bit me. Bad girl. <laughs> um, this is, yeah, we were out for dinner and um we were walking back and we were in front of the parliament building and there's a lot of like grass area. So we just kind of hung out there. That's what people do. Just like hang out, I guess. So that's what we did and just enjoyed the outdoors and took some silly pictures, which I'm sure you'll see in future videos. Um, so this is one of them and uh, yeah, so it was just fun just hanging out and not really having a particular plan. We were just kind of walking back to the hotel and I'm going to um, put some foam behind this this little layer piece, layer, layered photo. And yeah, what's next? I did make this video a little slower than usual, so let me know what you prefer. It does make it a little bit longer, which might be boring for some people, especially with it being a scrapbook layout. It's not as um, interesting as maybe a flipbook layout or a flipbook uh, process video. So let me know about what speed you prefer. Um, I had no idea what I wanted to do for a title. 
Um, and this is kind of where I start, but then I take it all off because it just did not look very good. That white just was way too bright of a white and stood out way too much. And the fonts I felt like just didn't really go that nice together. Um, they were just way too different vibes from each other that just, it just wasn't working and I, I wasn't liking it, but I had no idea what to do for the title and there weren't really any good I felt there weren't very many good jumping off pieces um, from the um, pieces from the kit from like the collection, but I make it work. You'll see. So just trying out different things that I could do for a title and not really feeling it. And I wasn't really sure where to go from here, but I like the word daydream because I'm laying on the grass there. So it looks like I'm just hanging out and daydreaming. Um, you can see my fingers um, tapping on the table there just because I didn't really know where to go from here. Then I decide to put a bunch of gesso on the page and that kind of helped because the background then wasn't so harsh. So I'm going to do that. And I did actually fussy cut around that sticker that says you are beautiful just because there was so much extra white sticker attached to it. Um, so hopefully you're not able to tell too much that I, I did that and that it looks somewhat normal. And I cut that little floral die cut in half um, and I can use the other half at another point, but I didn't need the whole thing and it felt weird cutting it in half, but I really liked the way the flowers looked at the bottom there. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, I'm just really like picking off different stickers and different pieces and placing it anywhere and um, trying different things out. Um, yeah, it was kind of, I, I felt at this point I was a little bit stuck, but I think the gesso really did help just to break up the page a little bit and not have the background so stark and in your face, um, especially because I'm not used to a pattern paper background. I'm used to a, um, I usually do just like white background. Um, and these clear stickers are so cute. Um, they're not for every page, but they are really cute. And so I decided to start sticking those around everywhere. Um, and I think that helped. I love these florals in this collection and they're more like a realistic like picture kind of of a flower rather than an artsy watercolor kind of flower if that makes sense so definitely different than maybe what we're used to seeing but I kind of love working with something different and yeah just different vibes and I kind of love it it's a good collection to work with um, at first I felt really stuck with it and didn't really know where to begin but the more I played with it and had fun projects to work on, the easier it became, I found. Um, and again, like I'm working with silver, which I'm not used to. I usually work with gold. So lots of newness in this, but super fun. Um, so I felt like I was getting stuck. So I took out, I have a second chipboard sheet. So I took out a fresh chipboard so that maybe I could find some pieces on there because usually the chipboard is one of the first things I use up. So my older chipboard, my first chipboard was getting pretty, um, pretty used up. So I moved on to another one and I think that helped kind of give me a little refresh and see things differently. Um, and now I'm just adding little bits and pieces everywhere to finish it off, which is such a fun part of it. Again, I'm trying to figure out a good title. See, isn't it crazy? My cat just walks back and forth, walks back and forth. If you saw my unboxing video for my November wild hair kit, she just walks back and forth. And I'm like, why, why, why are you doing this? Is it because my center of attention is not you anymore? But the thing is when I pet her, like sometimes she's like runs away. So it's like, I don't know what you want here. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the layout. Um, at this point, I didn't really know where to go with it. So I put some mist spray and that always uh, makes it feel more complete for me. So I did that, but still need knew I needed to add more. So again, just auditioning different pieces, putting it on the page, putting it back, 
trying different colors, trying different textures, trying different placements because I was kind of stuck at this point and I, I was debating whether or not it even needs a title because I don't really feel like all layouts necessarily have to have a title. I always have words in it one way or another, so I don't necessarily think there has to be one specific spot where there's a title. So again, I'm just sticking down little bits and pieces and going from there. I thought my Tim Holtz tiny word stickers would help because that is always the solution, but apparently not this time around. Um, and then I was going to add my title with these, but then I just didn't know what kind of title to have. Um, I try out like I was going to do like hay or something or cute, but then it just didn't fit in the spots. But I add a little bit of the little sprinkly bits all over the page and that helps and, and different enamel dots. And that's, yeah, like I said, it's, it's kind of a fun part to just sprinkle little things everywhere. And in this one, I do add journaling, which I don't normally do. So um, I think that kind of filled in that white space that you see kind of in the, in the bottom half. Um, so I'm sorry about my head, but yeah, I do add lots of splatters. It's by Tattered Angels. I got it from Hobby Lot. No, uh, Tuesday morning, a long time ago. Um, sorry about my head. Um, so I don't really know if they would still have it or what. I don't even have a Tuesday morning near me. I just was in the States once and picked it up. But there are lots of other mist sprays out there. And yeah, so I think that pretty much finishes it up. Just trying to fill in that space there. Now that I did the journaling, there was a little bit of um, trapped space. So I just want to make sure that that's filled in. And then everything is kind of spread out among the page evenly. And I kind of love how this layout turned out. I think it was really cute, a little bit out of my comfort zone with the background, but overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're feeling inspired, and have a wonderful day. Bye!